Mr. Henning. Ari. What day is it? <sighs> the last day of Nam, and we are so happy we don't have to scream anymore. We're gonna go some get some nice Taco Bell tonight. Get some no. get some quesadillas. No. No, quesadilla with jalapeno. Ow! We're going to a nice restaurant. Dude, I don't have money for a nice restaurant. Neither do I, but we're going. Am I paying? I don't know. Okay, fine, we're going to a nice restaurant. And um before that we're still filming a whole bunch of videos. Yeah. But you know, I couldn't have done this without you. I mean, your fans probably don't know this because they watch you. You're amazing. Yeah, I'm sure everyone out there just thinks I'm a pile of shit, and that's pretty accurate. But we are here at Louis because Valerie is the best, and she helped make this trip possible by sponsoring us. So we have to shoot a video here, and we kind of should anyway because they make some really good shit that I actually use. I have the MTP440, which is kind of like a SM57, the um, LCT440 Pure, which I was actually using a lot for recording acoustic guitars for my covers. And then I recently got the 640TS as well with all the different nice. polar patterns, which I'm actually planning on kind of using as a room mic to pair with my twin or something. You, and you did understate something a little bit. Valerie's not the best, she's the best plus infinity. Oh yeah. If I didn't have Leslie, I would literally go to Austria and just move in with Valerie without even asking her. She's so nice. Yeah. Okay, so, other than those microphones, well, we should show them microphones to the people, so. MTP 440, it's probably around 100 bucks, so it's like the price of an SM57. It has, uh, I think, much more pronounced low end. So you got to be a little bit careful about that. But put this in the right spot. Hell yeah. It's also, of course, great. We just took this out of the uh, drum case. Show the drum case over here. Cheddar. Cheddar man. So there's a whole drum case for Tom's big ass kick drum mic. I have this at home. It's a killer case. You've got the 340s for overheads. But this is what they have for snare. So um, it's about 100 bucks. If the 57 for you, from sure, is always a little bit too thin, this is the way to go. Um, Kick-ass mic, and the best is this, paired with a 440 or 640, at a little bit of a distance. Uh, if you watch my Tone King Sky King review, which he hasn't done one because he doesn't have one. But I will, very soon. In Poopy Brown. In Poopy Brown, chocolate brown. Poopy. Chocolate. Poopy. Poopy chocolate? Poopy. Chocolate poopy. Poopies. Poopies. Um, so this and the 440 or the 640 at a little bit of a distance, I have never gotten sounds like this out of an amp. And I think the sounds are so good. Tone King keeps uh, posting the video on uh, Facebook and Lewitt themselves called me like, very literally caught me like, is this the sound you got on that, that amp with our mics? Did you doctor anything? I'm like, no, I didn't. So they bought one. Not this, they have those. Uh, they bought the Tone King Sky King and it's in Lewitt's studio in Austria because they were like, that is the benchmark for a clean sound and how to mic it. And actually, you're not breaking the bank. The 440 is 249. Uh, you don't need polar patterns. You don't need any of that. You just need that capsule. And this is about 100 bucks, so for like under 400 euro or dollars, you can get the setup to record, you know, caps. Yeah, and as my viewers know, I've been using like the Lloyd boxes for ages, like the Ox and the Tube Amp Expander, and I'm actually switching back to using mics. And like you said, that combination of the 440 or 640, and that is what I'm going to be using. So What I often do in videos is I have this on the cap, and I use the Ox, and I actually mix both of them together. You do because the aux has four milliseconds latency. You, you do have to align it. But once it's aligned, depending on the sound, sometimes it's not great because the frequencies clash depending on the pedal. But oftentimes, that gives you that, that little bit of oomph in the, in the bottom and also just a little bit more realism. It's a, it's a great combination. So uh, this is a no-brainer. This is a you know built like a tank mic, you know? That's not mine, I don't care. That, that was very rude. But it's fine. You know, it's good. So, 
We should look at this 440 and 640 as well. They both actually use the same capsule, right? Yes, I go, I go get them while you entertain your people, if you're capable. No, I'm not capable of that at all. I'm stuck with a crazy bold German man bouncing off him, and I really need help. All... Okay, here's a picture of Dave's dog being cute. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Oh, Keep it there. We don't need any more video. We're good. What's happening, dude? Here he is. Okay. 640 TS and the... What? I have the 240. But why? We want the same capsule. God, you think you'd be a professional, right? So this is... Like I said, it's basic... That's the 540 heading. He got the wrong mic. One second. That's the 540 as well. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the 440. Um, you've seen loads of my acoustic covers with this. It's a great, simple condenser mic. And the great thing about Louis is they're not expensive at all. And they sound great. I don't know how they do it, but they're really competitive. People like Warren Hewitt from Produce Like a Pro, who really knows his shit, uses these. And that's what actually turned me on to them, not this crazy bastard. Okay, so 440 and 640. Here's the 640 for you. Um... The amazing thing about this is it's uh, the same capsule, but obviously uh, two of them uh, to change polar patterns. Um, it's got a uh, low cut mm -hmm. at linear 40, 80, and 160, and a pad 0, uh, 6, 12, and 18. So it's really, literally any situation it can handle. But the amazing thing about the um, 640, there's also 441 flex, which has the pad and the low cut. There's the 540, which has all this stuff, but the 640, has another output for like a mini XLR to XLR adapter. And you can record both at the same time in stereo. And then with their software, run those two tracks through the software and change the polar patterns later. So you can say, oh, okay, I record, recorded my acoustic. Uh, uh, let's try cardioid. Yeah, but I want a little bit more of the room. And you switch it to Omni or some other freaky deaky pattern or eight or whatever. And then you could actually automate that. So that means you're starting your acoustic really uptight and close with a super cardioid, which, uh, yes, it has. And then you're going and opening it up into the room with an Omni and not effects. You're literally changing the polar pattern later, which is a crazy concept. This is 899. But, but oh my God, what a mic. Yeah, and it comes in a really nice hard case and you get the shock mount thing shock, and shock the mount, magnetic pop, pop filter, pop filter yes uh, yeah but um something that might be very interesting for people that just want to go into their computer and not deal with stuff look at this thing you look at this while i put these back okay so what is this i don't know what this is i don't know henning is going to have to tell me but on the front there's some stuff so what is this? I was just saying on the front, there's some stuff. I literally have no idea, but we'll take a look and we'll, we'll take some guesses and just completely wrong guesses. How about that? Sure. So the shock mount is amazing, as always with Lewitt. Ah, USB, probably for power, look at that. So why would it have USB? And then look at this. This is a, no way. Do you see what I'm seeing? So this is USB, oh. and you might potentially be able to... Just to plug it straight into like iPads and computer direct, like a podcasting this, mic? This, this can't possibly be it, because, I mean, you, look, you got different patterns. Um, I don't know what that means. You got all the stuff, and you have gain on here. Hello, 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 hello. I know, it just shows you... The gain level. Oh, wait, you, this, this can be clicked. Whoa, look at this. Okay. I can click it and change the polar pattern. Cardioid, I can click it, return or direct. I don't know what that means. You can change the low cut, you can change the pad. You click it again and you have the gain. It says headphones. Is there a headphone jack on there? Or is it with, or is it with this little pack that's attached? Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. So, you got so we're attaching this to the bottom of the mic. There's no XLR. 
And then there's a headphone out. And uh, Apple iPads, iPhone connector here. Why is this MIDI? Who knows? I don't know, but if this is what we're thinking it is in recording direct in certain iPad or something like that, like we've heard garage band on the iPads or even podcasting. Imagine, imagine you have this level of mic, which by the way, oh my God. Oh, there's two capsules in there. And they're in two different directions. Dave, can you see this in here? Probably not. Zoom all the way in on, in on this. Hold on, I'll shine a light on my phone through the back. Yeah. Nice. So this is stereo yeah. left and right, which now explains this. No, this is fully stereo right there. This is a stereo mic that you can hook up USB probably to a computer and lightning into your iPad. I don't know what the MIDI port is for, no idea. But here's a headphone and there's a quarter inch out maybe? Yeah. So I think, th I think this would be great as a podcast. Say if you've got people on either side and yeah. you're chatting to each other, then it's going to pick both of you up and direct into like, say you're on your phone live streaming or anything like that. Then. In Lewis quality in stereo, powered through USB in your iPad. Are you shitting me? We, we want one of those, don't Why we? Why didn't Valerie tell us about this and give us five each? I don't know, but I'm Valerie, sure she will where do. Where was the love yesterday when we were here and you didn't even tell us about this amazing monstrosity of a microphone? <laughs> so, wow. Okay, uh, I don't know if this is already out. Maybe they didn't want to talk about it because of that. But that is freaking insane. Let me see if I can get it in the hole here. In the hole. <laughs> what, get are, it. Are you like 12? <laughs> You're making a get it. joke, really. Are you 12? Uh, excuse, who am I stood next to right now? I shoved it in the bottom hole. Um, what? I don't know. I'm an adult. Okay, anything else? That's all you need to know. That's just freaking mind-blowing. I want this so, so bad. So do I. Okay. Would I use it? Probably. Are you, you, why, you need to talk into this. I think they can hear us. It's not that loud today. Yeah, maybe. But they were Maybe. Uh, 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 why are we using the little bit uh, reporter mic? Because uh, Lewitt doesn't have anything wireless yet. It's a great reporter mic. It's very inexpensive, but it needs to be wired or you need to have like a wireless transmitter on it. And um, we also love Sennheiser. They're nice people. So we, we support both microphone. We, we're equal opportunity mic users. And I'm going to say this again, which we said to Valerie yesterday. For all the content creators out there, we need a good shotgun mic from you guys as soon as possible. Yes. Yesterday, please. Yesterday. We want the green goodness on the shotgun. Yes, the slime green goodness. Okay. All right. So that was a look at all the Lewitt stuff that might actually be of interest to you guys out there. I think this seems killer. I really want to get my hands on one of those and test it out. But I've been Harry from Harry New Guitar. This was H. 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 E. P. H. E. P. H. P. Like Henning Pauli. It's initial spelled out in a stupid way. That's really stupid. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, there's going to be loads more videos from NAM 2020. There's going to be a playlist on the cards at the end and in the description. So if you want to check them out, go ahead, and I'll see you guys in the next video.